elementary school in Michigan sends a flyer home to parents suggesting that the kids' annual field day should be, quote, enjoyable for everyone, which apparently means keeping the competition to a minimum. That immediately got the attention of some folks who see a larger pattern emerging here. Dana Lash is host of Dana on the Blaze TV and a Radio America talk show host. And Andel Brown is an attorney and children's advocate. Good to see you both. So here is the quote from the elementary school home to parents. Um, Since we believe that all of our children are winners, the need for athletic ability and the competitive urge to win will be kept to a minimum. Dana? Uh, and they should get used to not having that urge. To me, it sounds like success shaming, Megan. I, I, I don't understand why anyone would want to bring this abuse onto a child and teach them that competition isn't a healthy or a good thing. I know when I was in elementary school, field day was the best day of the year. It was all day long. We looked forward to it. I looked forward to it. And it encourages healthy competition is great. You want your kids to enjoy that. I don't know why anyone would want to rob a child of, of motivation and learning how competition's fun. Just because you lose, Andel, doesn't make you a loser. And losing is something that happens in life. And why not let it happen in a safe, friendly environment like a school field day where the children can get used to it and understand it in a familiar setting? Well, what we're talking about here is field day, and field day is supposed to be fun. It's not to highlight the differences between the athletes and the non-athletes. The kid that hardly ever picks up a ball should be just as comfortable on field day as the kid that has a batting coach, a oh, trainer, and runs Oh, God forbid they feel a little morning. uncomfortable, Andel. God forbid. <laughs> Well, it's not about feeling uncomfortable, but we want kids to be active and participate in physical activity. We're not trying to shame, as Dana said, those children that may not be as athletically oh, yeah. inclined as the others. Dana? No, yeah, you're completely shaming kids who are good. I just, I look at it as it's a form of child abuse, really. I mean, in my opinion, I have kids, they're athletic. Child I was abuse? incredibly athletic. Yeah, it's a form of child abuse. I was incredibly athletic in school. I look at it like this. Parents should be able to teach their kids, look, some kids are good at stuff, and some kids just suck at things. I was horrible at basketball. I tried out every year, never made the team, but I was a varsity track runner. I, you have to be able to teach kids, look, it's okay to not be number one all the time. It's okay sometimes. It's like Talladega Nights. Sometimes they're second and third. That's what makes you want to win even more, Andel, is when you lose and you, you feel the frustration of not reaching your goal, but you do have fun. Just because you lose doesn't mean the process is not fun. Right. I'll agree. Competition has its place. And those kids that are great athletes like Dana was, or maybe I was, or at least I thought I was, will have their place. They're going to have their Little League games. They're going to have their basketball camps where they can get their trophies but and they're their medals. Not. But this is field day. Okay, Let's but wait, but let me challenge involved. you on that. Let's let me challenge you on that. Okay, right. Couch. So at this, at this school, which is field day, but more and more, we are seeing the elimination of competition and the celebration right. of everyone despite the standards. Rhode Island, Massachusetts, both recently called up right. honors nights because they could be devastated to students who weren't quite honor students. Suburban Chicago districts, private schools, got rid of valedictorians. If I, if I gave you the list of schools that have gotten rid of valedictorians and salutatorians, you would be horrified. One Maryland summer program gives awards every day, and the day is one hour long, so that every kid, every hour can get an award. Uh, God forbid not everybody gets a trophy. What's the value of yeah. the trophy, Dana? It's the perpetuation of mediocrity. If everyone's special, then no one is. I mean, The Incredibles taught us that. I'm going to quote movie after movie. If everybody's special, then no one is. That is such a disservice to kids. Kids, look, if they can't learn this in school, the world is not going to cater to them. The world doesn't give out participation trophies. You're handicapping kids before they even get out of the real world by not teaching them that sometimes you lose and sometimes you win. And losing can be a good thing, and it can be a character-building thing. And we are not allowing our kids that opportunity with this. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, I'll close with a personal anecdote. When I was in law school, I was in the finals of an appellate argument competition, and we had dinner beforehand with three judges from the highest court in New York State. And my partner looked at one of them and he said, you know, I already feel like we've won it. It's just an honor to be here, judge. And the judge, Judge Titone of the New York State Court of Appeals, looked at my partner and said, Second place is losing, son. <laughs> <laughs> All right, panel, thank you both so much right. for being here. Well, Megan, <laughs> thanks for thank you, go, Megan. It's not field day, it's elementary school. <laughs> we'll do it all over again another time. Uh, who do you think won that debate?